musicians in bars getting beer. It's Vinyl Ambush. Bell, why don't you tell us about your band? Uh, we're an indie rock kind of metal-ish band. Uh, we've only been together for about five, six months, and we already have 13 songs getting ready to record our album. Wow, that's awesome. So who's in your band here? So we have Corwin, uh, Pedro, uh, Jack, and Anthony. <laughs> and who plays what? Anthony? Uh, I play guitar. How long have you been playing guitar? Uh, I've been playing in clubs since about 15. And where do you like playing, other uh, than Rock Pile? Uh, the Opera House is pretty cool, Lee's yeah. Palace. Yeah. Who's your main influences on guitar? Uh, Randy Rhodes. Oh, number one. Randy Rhodes and Alex Lifeson. Oh, you're right now. Nice. <laughs> My name's Jack. My biggest influence for drumming has to be Bono and Dave Grohl as well. Kind of like look like his <laughs> stepson or something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so those guys are my main influences. And for our album, we're actually going to record it at my uh, dad's post-production company downtown. So that's kind of like a good connection there so we don't have to go to a studio, things like that. I can leave my drums there, use my kit, you know what I mean? So. Um, yeah, 13 songs, we're really looking forward to it. It's got a really good vibe, the album. And uh, who does a lot of the writing then? Is it? Uh, so actually it's uh, Corin. Uh, writing with your dad, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, he, actually he knows basically every instrument in the band, so he knows guitar, drums, bass, piano, playing guitar and all these things for for about 30, 30 plus years. What are your influences then? I think my biggest influence Other than be... your dad, of course. That's, that's a pretty huge influence, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, I think my biggest influence would be Rush. Geddy Lee plays bass really well. Bass in the, all the songs just really comes out and it really just stands out. Uh, Me and Corwin were in a band before this and um, we didn't have, um, like our ages weren't high enough to be in this competition that we wanted to join. So we ended up putting together like a little side project kind of thing and wrote a couple songs. And then uh, Corwin's dad knows Jack and Jack knows Pedro and I knew Anthony from a really <laughs> single. <laughs> <laughs> from a really long time ago and um, we kind of just put it together and then we kept writing and it all just kind of clicked so we ended up keeping it together. Tell us who your uh, vocal inspirations are. Probably Taylor Momsen, the lead singer of uh, The Pretty Reckless. She's like my queen. <laughs> I've been playing since I was in like grade three, so a bunch of years. Um, and I've been listening to a lot of Tom Morello play lately and I love his style. He like DJs yeah. on the guitar. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. I have like a drumstick solo thing I do for a song called Alien and it sounds, it sounds really cool. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Great. You got any funny stories from playing live? Mm. Um, it's my favorite one. From a rehearsal actually. I almost killed Bell with a drumstick once. By oh yeah. So I was playing, Breaking you know, sticks. doing my thing and I went boom and I hit the rim of the snare I think and it just went boom and went that way and went right past Bell's head. Oh yeah. my god. Right into the wall. It was like Jesus. Into the wall. <laughs> oh. I really liked um, the Royal York Hotel. I got to do Canadian Music Week there a few times. That was really fun. Um, probably Youth Day. We just came off of that uh, a couple, three weeks ago ish. Yeah, I thought yeah. Almost a month. yeah, it was another group favorite. So. Was it Young and Dundas by any chance? Yeah. yeah, Young and Dundas. Tell us about that crowd. Uh, that was awesome. Very supportive crowd. A lot of people like us, like young musicians, kind of like. Cool. Expressing ourselves. Big crowd. There's a lot yeah. of people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is cool. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was definitely nervous once I, but once we got into like 30 seconds into the opening song, I was like, okay, we're cool. Yeah. It's just yeah. those first 30 seconds where it's like, okay, everything can go wrong right now. <laughs> and then we're going to get the drum sound down for a couple of weeks, things like that. And then <laughs> we just got to get hard at work after that. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of work, but I'm really excited. And and so the production is going to be, you know, all in the family sort of thing? Pretty much, yeah. yeah, which is cool because my dad knows sound, Tom, your dad knows how to play and sound. Where did you all meet? If you're all from out of town and stuff like that, it's a rehearsal factory what? near um, it's Aaron Mills, right? Uh, yeah, I own a high school right beside there. And we just we went into a jam. Uh, what song? It was Curiosity and Toxic. So two of our songs. Tom sent us like the the link because they had demos of like the machine drums playing it. So I kind of just I kept the same kind of drums, but I put my own flavor in. But uh, yeah, so we jumped into those two songs. And we all looked at each other and we were like. Cool. Yeah. yeah. It kind of gelled really nicely. It's kind of how we met. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> just like hanging around this. Well, oh, we met. Yeah. Like, at, yeah. Company, at the parties and things like that. But like, yeah, first time I ever met Bell. Yeah, it was rehearsal. What did you work together or something? Or? No, it was at the actual rehearsal factory. That's so yeah. weird. But me and Ped, we've been jamming for like five years yeah, now together. We started in high school, like right at grade nine. We just 
you can kind of tell when we're playing like the rhythm because Pet's a rhythm guitar. We just kind of walk in. Yeah, yeah. Nice because we've been playing forever together. It's cool. So there's that chemistry, and then your guys' chemistry. Yeah. Been playing yeah. Together, and it all just kind of. Oh, and you guys have been Anthony. playing before. Oh, I see. Yeah. So it's two groups of people, kind of, uh, and then you picked up Anthony Howe. Uh, I actually man. met him at the Velvet Underground. Was yeah. it? Yeah. There was a show that was there, and I was a solo act at the time, and I just sang some covers of songs that I liked and stuff. And he did a couple originals as well, and a band that he was in at the time. Um, <laughs> a band that he was in at the time uh, was playing there, and then we kept that connection. And then, like so many years later, like I was like, we need a guitarist, and then. He's just like, hey, I can do it. And then, yeah. Another cool thing was too that um, I think it was like three or four months ago, you were playing and there was a craft show in here. And uh, oh, yeah, you yeah. remember that? Yeah, and my yeah. um, my ex girlfriend, she set up a bunch of stuff, and um, and I was like looking up and I was like, this guy's really good, man. <laughs> and this is even way before Vinyl M, which was like four, almost half a year yeah. before. And then you walked. You were in, in a different band like, then. I know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> you were in a different band then, Anthony. Yeah. What band? Uh, Aliens Ashore. Okay. Yeah. We were around for about three years, but split up. And you've played here before with them? Yeah, they went to Soar and Dirty Little Secrets in Final Ambush. Oh, yeah. Uh, favorite gigs, man? Uh, it was kind of cool opening up for the reunion of LA Guns at the Rock Pile a few months ago. The Iron Maiden was another pretty cool one. Two of my favorite bands that I've opened up with. Kind of cool. So that's pretty great. Yeah, that's, that's cool. <laughs> and so you guys have websites and stuff like that. Yeah. Are you online? Yeah, we got Instagram, we have Twitter, right? Yep. Okay, Twitter, Facebook page, YouTube, all that. Okay. So, so we ha how do we find you? Uh, type in Final Ambush, Final Ambush on YouTube, yeah. and you, it'll pop up the video with the police officer Joel. So that's kind of nice whenever it types. We're like the first thing that comes up. Yeah. Final yeah. Yeah. That's cool. All right, thanks for being on Musicians in Bars Getting Beer. Cool, thanks. You guys go do your sound check, get on stage, and kick some butt here at the Rock Pile. Awesome. All right. Thanks <laughs> hey, for being you. on. Cool, thanks a lot. Cheers. Thank you. All right.